Each year, Central High students are locked in their school for 24 hours with the task of creating a piece of art. And now those students will have their own red carpet event to display their work. Q2's Jenny Fick shares some of the sights and sounds of the evening. The Clark Martin Studio was taken over by Central Art students' work in their own art walk. Work that they created during the 24-hour lockdown at their school. We did it over Christmas break so that we'd have an open 24 hours and then time afterwards to rest because this was very physically and emotionally uh, tiring and very stressful. So I did two llama pieces. There's a black and white one and a colored one. And I thought it would be cool to have twinning pieces. The name of my painting is Oh Dear. <laughs> I wanted to paint a mountainous scene and then I found a way to make it more of a Montana kind of thing by doing the deer on the inside. A takeaway from the challenge of completing the 24-hour work of art? Learning how to manage my time. A lot of time management for sure. There were many head-scratching moments. I couldn't figure out how I wanted the water to look and I couldn't get it to blend right. And I sat there for three hours staring at it. But just as many light bulb moments. It was a lot of just bouncing ideas off of each other and getting critiqued from each other. Yeah. My hope is that once I retire from teaching that this continues to live on. Former Central alums were also on hand through the lockdown to help create a video of the story. They filmed and they hung out with us and get to stay overnight with your friends at school is just kind of a special experience because it's not something you know you typically get to do. I want them to take home the idea that we believe in them and that they are supported and that no matter what they have created over the last 24 hours when they were doing this event, it is absolutely worthy of being shown in a gallery. In Billings, Jenny Fick, MTN News. Thanks, Jenny. To check out a video extra of all of this art, head to ktvq.com.